today we have a patient uh, who has just we have received from OT. Uh, he was having second degree cervical canal stenosis, and laminectomy, laminoplasty has been done from C3 to C6, and the patient has been shifted to ICU for post-op observation for four hours. Now, today we are we will discuss what important things you need to monitor in a patient who has been shifted post uh, cervical laminoplasty routine ecg routine vitals routine every other thing urine output blood pressure all these things are routines which you monitor in every patient who has been shifted to icu for observation but specifically if a patient who has undergone cervical laminoplasty two important things you need to monitor always one the power in all four limbs you need to check the file what was the power pre-op of the patient uh, pre-operatively whether it was 2 by 5 3 by 5 4 by 5 or 5 by 5 so that when you receive the patient post-operatively you can compare the power with the pre-op uh, uh, pre status so you always need to ask uh, uplift both your hands both your legs hold your legs so that you can know how is the power second most important things which is very very important because the patient has undergone c3 to c6 laminoplasty reason the phrenic nerve has root well, value from c3 to c5 so phrenic nerve uh, starts from c3 to c5 root value and descends and supplies the diaphragm it innovates and provides the motor function to the diaphragm which is a uh, muscle which helps you in the expiration per se uh, along with inspiration it helps in the expiration per se it plays a very important role so you need to check the chest expansion of the patient is the patient able to expand the chest comfortably or he is having some trouble in having the chest expansion you need to observe whether the patient is getting drowsy because of pco2 retention or not because as if the uh, chest is not getting expanded well your PCO2 will start rising in the uh, body because the patient is not doing proper ventilation. Oxygenation you can do by putting the mask and you are getting 100% oxygenation. But ventilation will be hampered. Ventilation means movement of carbon dioxide from the body. So clinically, if you can see the patient is able to uh, expand the chest or not comfortably, whether the patient is getting drowsy in spite of 100% oxygen saturation. Also, if you are still in doubt, you can always do an ABG before shifting this patient to ward so that you can have a clear idea what is going on with the patient. So any patient who has undergone cervical laminoplasty or cervical surgery for any reason, specifically if it is involving above C5, you should always look for respiration, specifically for chest expansion, not just focus on the SP2 levels, always focus on the uh, chest expansion and PCO2 and all the four uh, power in all four limbs so we'll just demonstrate you quickly because we are in the covid pandemic area so we'll not expose all the things but give you a brief idea sir aap dono hath upar utha ke bata payenge humko ha utha ke bata paye ha shabash udhar wala theek hai bahut badhiya niche kar lijiye दोनों पैर मोड़ के बता पाएंगे पंजे चला के बताएंगे दोनों के ठीक घुटने से मोड़ पाएंगे इसको ठीक उधर वाला ठीक नीचे कर ली थोड़ा सा इसको ऐसे करें आप है ना मेरे को गहरी सांस लेके बताएं शाबाश बस बस दो मिनट में हाथ लगाऊंगा गहरी सांस लें तो एक्सपैंडिंग नाइसली ठीक है ओके थैंक यू कोई तकलीफ तो नहीं हो रही सांस लेने में थैंक यू बहुत बढ़िया सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन जस्ट एक्सपेंशन एंड पावर इन ऑल फोर लिम्स कंपेयर विद द फ्री ऑफ कंडीशन ऑलवेज इन ए पेशेंट हुज अंडर गॉन सर्वाइकल सर्जरी थैंक यू